The Good Lover, Psychology Game. What I really like about this game is that it not only displays many attractive traits, but it also allows you to transition into other juicy topics related to sex, women, and seduction. All are good subjects to escalate the vibe, as you may already know. After this example, I'll discuss the mechanisms behind it. Here we go. You. Do you know what I find too funny about most men? Her. No? You. Well, they always try to impress women with what they've got, how much they earn, and material things. They buy women drinks, expensive dinners. In clubs, they may be flashy with expensive champagne. All this to get laid, it is a bit of a joke. Her. Yeah, it is. Ha ha. But I do not mind some free champagne. You. Of course not and I don't blame you. But I don't think a glass of champagne would make you desire a guy, at least not on a deeper level. You won't feel that strong, emotional, and sexual connection with such a guy. Her. Yeah, it is. Ha ha, but I do not mind some free champagne. You. Of course not. And I don't blame you. But I don't think a glass of champagne would make you desire a guy, at least not on a deeper level. You won't feel that strong, emotional, and sexual connection with such a guy. Her. No, I suppose not. You. Instead, I believe a man who is able to generate desire is much more powerful. The one who touches you in a way that leaves you wanting more. The guy with intriguing eye contact. The guy whose words allow you to travel into your own mind. Words that allow you to feel strong sensations. His actions make you feel feminine and good. Her. Yes, that is nice. You. It surely is better than trying to impress her. Yet I believe there is one key element these guys are missing. You, by saying this, indirectly imply that you are not these guys. Some guys can generate desire in a woman, usually through touch, and it is all good. You may feel excited, aroused, and stimulated by it. Her. Yeah. You. But there is something else that goes in parallel that is, in my book, equally important. Not only will a good lover be able to generate strong emotions and create a strong desire, but he will also make you feel allowed to act upon this desire. Her. So true. You. Because he may create desire. But if you do not feel like you allow yourself to act upon those desires, you will resist and not feel at ease to act upon them. However, if you do feel allowed to act upon those desires, far less stimulation is required to generate desire because you will not need to block those impulses, but instead, you can act upon them freely. Her. Oh my God, so true. You. And then, on top of this, if he actually delivers the juice and stimulates you deeply, while at the same time you feel allowed to act upon these feelings, well, her. Ha ha, yeah, that's the good lover's game. You get the idea.